Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 49 second round match between Cheergant and his Wood Elves and Luminous and his High Elves. In the booth with me is Dimmy G. Hello! Hello Jim, and what a belter of a game we've got here actually. It's, it, it looks like two evenly matched teams. I don't know if you want to have a quick look at those inducements, but I don't see a wizard. Uh, babe. It's a babe for Luminous. A babe for Lumi. There's 12 for the Woodies. Instant pass from the Mighty Boar Tackler. <laughs> There is 10 for the High Elves. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, that's an amazing start for uh, Shurgan. Blitz is the side no He's got another Mighty Blow hit coming here. That was that's a Blitz. choice, that's wasn't it? Blitz, I it mean, was a choice. I mean, it was a Did hell of a play to leave Exposed, wasn't it? It is a pretty good player. And he, like, using Mighty Blow to hit the Mighty Blow is pretty intelligent play there from uh, Shurgan. Mm. Shiergant. I cannot pronounce his name. Shiergant. 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 Just cheer. Cheergant. 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 Yeah. Cheergant. Cheergant. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cheergant. <laughs> Not sure. Exposed. He went chevrons, which indicates he didn't want a quick score, which indicates he's happier on defense. Hmm. Yeah, I think right. high, high elf teams are pretty solid in defense because they get to just shove their sidestep in places. Like, you know, like, he's got four sidesteppers here, hasn't he? You know, four blood yeah. steppers, five blood steppers. So he can, like, he can put them in dodgy places and, you know, really <laughs> cause a lot of problems on defense. Whereas on offense, you've just got to dodge around and worry about dancers constantly. Yeah, so it's, they are a pretty sick team in defense, high elves. When, when but, like, you know, like, a bit. <laughs> Chip in the lino makes it interesting. Mm. And the thing is, is like, is Shergan even going to go for a quick score? Like, I, I don't think he will. No, no, there's no way he's going to. So I, I would have definitely protected the. Uh, I would have definitely hundred percent protected. The but yeah, it, it kind of like makes it look like Lumi's a little bit worried about his offense. To be honest, mm. like a tell, isn't it? It's Great a tell. Way to hit there, isn't it? Armor seven. What, the kicker? Oh no, the guarder. Yeah, armor 7 blood step guard. I mean, that was a fucking brilliant play to hit the mighty blood. Doesn't get anything. Oh, he's going for a leap defense. Mm. Esque. Yeah, and there's no real threat cage dive wise from the, from the high elves. Is yeah, it? he's got the ball in short hands as well, and he? So the, the, the strippers. Not so great. I mean, it is really hard, but he's he, he's got five, <laughs> so he could have hit. And he, this is the most important player, right? This is the mighty blow tackler. This is the most important player out of all of his players. This is number one, and he did not protect him on the turn one. Numero uno. Yeah, I mean, if you cast him and not the lino on the on the LOS, then uh, I definitely think we would have seen an Apo. Mm. Yeah, I'd say he's number one most important player, and the the guard is number two most important player, and he's had them both hit so far. <laughs> but you've um, got a Kaz there. Yeah, I was going to say, talking about Apos, mm. uh, we do not see one there either. Mm. Which is fair, it's just a Roger. Yeah. But definitely uh, a bit of a dent in Shergan's team. Yep. And again, he just leaves him out to get hit. I mean,. Obviously, he's annoying wanting to hit because he's got sidestep and tackle. So, you know, like if you hit him and you don't power him, you've got to dodge away from him without dodge. But you've got to, you've got to, you've got to keep hitting him because he's like Luminous's main way to win the match, isn't he? I guess this is uh, an argument for quick scoring with the Woodies because, like, he just wants to trade blows. I, I don't think he. Thinks that he's gonna stop the score, so he just wants the bank. Oh, is that KO? That sounded like a KO. Yep. <clears throat> Minara Norian, Norasumi. Uh, typical elf name. Yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I was just dodging away. Why would you dodge the? Uh, and G4 before that. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? No, he's powered me Bridger. <laughs> powered me Bridger. Me Bridger. 
bangers, <laughs> bait, I trade. Was that I trade, we trade? Yeah. I mean, that's. He's definitely got the worst part of that trade, though, to be fair. Yeah. But I mean, trading Mighty Blow Blitzers is fine, isn't it, when you're armor 8 and they're armor 7? Like, it's, and then... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is why he doesn't want him to quick score, I think. And that's why he did the chevrons. So. I'm, I'm interested because I'm not the best elf coach and I kind of want to see how these guys figure it out. He's doing a lot of basing with the blood steppers. Rely on the armor eight to try and generate something. Momentum. Momentum. But, but he's just getting people hit, isn't he? Like, I mean, obviously he nailed this. Yeah, well, he's got, yeah, he's got another catcher there just to smash with uh, Mighty Blow and tackle. Herp, herp. Base, base, base. Or, or do the safe prayer to make the yeah. yeah. ball carry an the dodge. Yeah, or hit the frenzy, which is uh. Oh, but then dodge away from him anyway. So if you're going to dodge away anyway, you might as well just hit the hit the armor seven. In a way. In a way. Turn five already. This game's going fast. Yeah, I would. I would have put the ball on the strength four personally, and then. I don't know oh, why. No, sure hands, sure hands. I don't know why I want to have the ball in a strength four player, but you know. Sure oh yeah, hands. he does have he does a strip, doesn't he? Yeah, okay, he's got yep. strip. But you know, two dice with wrestle is is pretty good. But yeah, this, the strip is too dangerous to be fair. Yeah, the strip so. is fucking outrageous. So, yeah, it's turn five and he hasn't advanced at all. Yeah, he's, 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 in fact, he's devanced. Yeah. Oh, uh, so this incessant basing with sidestep, he hasn't, obviously, he hasn't been... He oh, hasn't there we go. There's, box back, but he has there's, field position. there's the, the panic scoring for it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, I, I'm not forward enough. I need to chuck something deep. Yeah. And he gave oh, the surf it's up for some reason. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah, it's been a slip in com concentration, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's obviously just a brain fart. No reason to give that up at all. Gets away with it. Yep. To oh, an extent. Bit. Yeah, to, yeah, a bit. I mean, that's the best thing about surfs is that they always work, isn't it? It's always removed for the rest of the drive. And... Yeah, that is it. And, like, <clears throat> I do notice that I turn down a lot of surfs that maybe I shouldn't. Hmm. I don't know. This is the blitz here, isn't it? This guy. This is pretty shit defense that he should be one across <clears throat> I mean just, well this is like this is a non-defense this guy had to be here yeah yeah because this is just instantly straight through like that was crap really. to be honest like that turn was this this had to be tighter because that was such an obvious blitz through that's always worth providing they weren't the amount of times I've double powered a surface so yeah. Yeah, but you know, a lot of people like to say, oh, I didn't even kill him and stuff, and I didn't, you know, I didn't get the cars or I didn't get a kill, but like at the end of the day, that they're good because it's it's a removal, isn't it? That's the thing. It's at least Ooh. for that half. Oh, it wasn't a GFI, he just did it staggered. Yeah. It's a strength 2 ball carrier, isn't it? Oh, I guess, oh, he's coming around the front, so he's going to do a ton of GFIs with that rookie line over it. No, he's not, he's not. He's just going to let him hit it. He's got an assist, hasn't he? So, yeah, that's fine. Extra blocks. Got a, a screen there, so he's got a screen. With the gun dancer, hasn't he? He's got a screen yeah. right around in front. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice from Chiagant. It's pretty secure, I would say. I'd say this is pretty secure. It's quite interesting to see how Lumi plays this uh, high off team. It's it's very aggressive. I think. Like... Mm. I guess, like, he's the orc, right, in this one? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Wow, he's gone for something. What was he going for? Hit the roger? Know. And base? Yeah, maybe. Maybe the catcher. Oh, maybe the, yeah, maybe the scoring for a catcher. Oof, one in nine every time you blitz a wrestler. <laughs> oh, I hate that, yeah. But Lumi's not going to foul, right? It's, uh, it's not got the numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not the foul. It's just annoying to have your guy down, isn't it? Well, yeah, because he was probably going to make up some part of this screen slash cage. But now he can hand off to the strength four because 
he comes out rest of the street. Expert. Beautiful. Beautiful. The beautiful cars. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> oh, and protects the LG5 as well. Super nice. Yep. Protects his Roger. Protect your neck. Who's that? Protect your neck. I remember that. I don't. That's not secure. Is was that the term before or this term? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he hasn't finished his term when he said it. It was pretty secure. <laughs> NWA. Oh, frenzy doing something. Wow. Wu Tang Clan. <clears throat> Couple of KOs. Could be a bit of a KO swing. Hundred percent Wu Tang. Clan. Both lads still have the Apos, right? Yep. He did have enough to space to get the strip around for a 1D blitz, but I mean... It's just wrestling sure against hand. a dodge. Yeah, yeah so would be a 30%. And there was like no recovery. 33%. Then. And he's got He's gonna go for so. three dice with attack on my I thought that was pretty secure. Secure. Sakura. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> That's how, uh, like, Twister says, like, words. <laughs> oh, here we go. Will Lumi get the will get the one turn? Uh, I mean, it's not a bad one turn, is it? Especially without the tree. Yeah, well, the tree makes it easier. He's got... Has he got, has he got the full 11, or has he only got 10? The Woodies. The Woodies... Still got 11, they started with 12, didn't they? So they still got 11. So you can do the proper one side of it. And the Hiles only what started with 11, didn't they? So they're down to 9. Mighty Blow stays out. What's your opinion on the uh, one turn defense and how many gaps it should be in this particular matchup? I, I like it like this. I like one behind. I feel like. Oh, I don't like this though, but I, I like one behind to make it harder to. Yeah, you know, to make the 3 3 yeah. 2 or whatever it is. Yeah, because I like. From this angle. So yeah, he's got the two side steppers there. So. But I meant like, oh yeah, so just the one gap, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, I think this should have been there. But, uh, and then maybe his tackle is on the edges rather than. Then you don't want, you don't want them hit, do you? <laughs> you really don't want these hit. Well, that's that's where they they normally go though, isn't it? Through the. Uh, as we're looking at it, left side, those two. Guys on the left, you yeah. normally chain them through that gap, don't you? Yeah, so I don't know if one behind is good. And you can only use this one. So, you know, you've got to think about that. And I guess there is the riot and the, the uh, quick snap, I guess. And the frenzy. And the frenzy, yeah. Yep, friend. Oh, yeah, so he could have done frenzy to go there and then there, couldn't he? That's interesting. I wonder if he should have set up to do the frenzy to get there and there. Yeah. Wait, has he got grabs in here? Okay, so he's going frenzy in here. And he does the push. And he's not into with the sides. Like, this could have been the sidestepper, couldn't it? Yeah. And he could have gone there, and then he could have hit him, and he could have gone there, and then he could have hit him and gone there. This he like hasn't a... gone forward with the side step. Uh, yeah, I think this is a wasted opportunity. If he'd put the, if he'd put the like this catcher here, then he would have been one forward after that so that blitz, wouldn't it? Like, and he did the dodge to hit him. He could have, he could have got, he could have definitely done it if he'd done it correctly. I mean, it's only three minutes. It, it's one of them ones that I'd have to sit down and stare at for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So that's why he put this guy three back as the frenzy. That makes sense now, doesn't it? Yep. That's why I put him back there. To be fair, I've forgotten about Lumi's frenzy a lot. Um, again, I don't think I would forget about it if I was playing. 
But watching it's easy to not think about, isn't it? Because you don't really ca care, do you? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I know, I know it sounds. I care. I care, Jim. <laughs> like, some things are easier to spot when you're not watching, when you're not playing. But I think it's easier to remember things when you're playing. You know, like if you're playing, you're gonna be like, this guy's got an edge five, and always know what the edge five is. If you like, you should always know what the edge five is when you're playing. Whereas when you're casting, it's just like, you know, you lose track and, oh shit, the edge five's over there, or the move's over here, or, you know, the sidestep is over there, or whatever. But playing, you should know all of that shit, you know. Like, I think I've got, I've got less, got, I haven't got much, uh, you know, I don't know. Oh, as a non, non blood bowl expert, I predict it's going to be very hard for the high elves to eight turn drive this. Yes. Yes. They got nine players and they're down their best one which is this mighty blow tackler because he let him get hit every turn <laughs> oh the KO stays out oh that's pretty brutal mm. and he's got to get the ball onto sure hands does he no it's... there is no strip at all on the no, no strip. so that's stumping at least yeah. just a strength for Tackle mighty blow guy. Yeah, instead. just the small matter of the strength for mighty blow tackle here. <laughs> <laughs> and he does chip an elf on the LOS, so mm. it's 10 against 9. Yeah. He's gonna get to smash. Yeah, this is this is the other option, isn't it? Just stay out of range, but there's it's only gonna be for one turn. Yeah, that's the problem, yeah. Delaying the inevitable. Oh, he's free dicing. Nice. Yep, I like the 3D. Doesn't get it. Very uh, aggressive again. Mm, very aggressive. Gets the pal. Armor 7, mighty blow. Diced. Never looking. <clears throat> <Okay. laughs> I, like, I wonder whether he could have uh, applied a bit more pressure here. Yeah, this is very. Uh, I guess this is pretty basic, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is fine for Lumi. Like he's got another turn of just not worrying. Yeah. Like the worry will come next turn. But then there's also a lot of elves to protect and stuff, isn't there? Oh, yeah. He did max blocks, which is again interesting, yeah. as well. Puts the. Oh. I would have come over here. I don't know if I follow with the guarder. Oh yeah, I would have followed with the guard there. Oh, but then there's a mighty blow. Yeah, there's not mighty blow, but tackler there. Oh well, I don't know, yeah. But it's, it's natural to defend him, which is quite good, isn't it? The dancer. No, no this this wrestler, like, you, by, by following oh, the guard, yeah. you, you protect the Roger a bit. He's but you do expose the guard to the yeah, tackle, he's yeah. Getting... He's getting punched. But then now you get the, well, he's got to dodge away. Your tackler, otherwise, you get the tackle, mate, and he doesn't dodge away. This is what I mean, he just seems that he seems a little bit aggressive, like more. So, Ooh. wouldn't have Dude done that. Schools. Wouldn't have done that, no, that was a terrible choice. It doesn't follow. Just, it's a stone. Oh, because he's got these, of course. And the other mighty blow tackler does the blitz. <laughs> <laughs> AV7 Yeah, it's held AKA up AKA AV200 <laughs> Oh my god, yeah if, Oh, and he's oh, double one this Outstanding uh, I tell you what, if, if Lumi had had souls at armor and injury dice He would have no catches left already Because <laughs> they've taken some hits This is the thing though There's still not enough pressure on the ball is there? No, there's it's no pressure at all this is, this is great for Lumi I mean, this guy's getting a bit of pressure well, it's getting smashed in the face, Jim. Yep. And this is an armor break, and it's a KO. Mm. And now it's uh, interesting. I mean, it was always. But... 9v9, isn't it? Equalizes. 9v9, no pressure on the ball. Yeah. And uh, the Hiles probably got the better players. Like, well, barring the dancer, like, they've probably got the overall. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like, equity. 
Yeah, apart from the dancer, they've got the best players. But obviously, the dancer is the best player on the pitch. <laughs> well, yeah, like head and shoulders. Yeah. I mean, but if he rolls pushes every turn, then uh, you know. Yeah. And there's still no pressure on the ball. No. And this just this is like the easiest eight turn. Well, I obviously there's a lot more turns to go, but well, now he's putting something. I I would yeah, but it's one. It's like it's the whole soul thing where you feed in one player at a time. Because all you have to do is hit this guy and armor break him, and you're fine. Yeah. Okay, there's two now. There's two. Okay. I think I would have tried this three two out. Like it's not great, but I think you probably it's probably worth trying out. Yeah, so you hit the wrestler and then you just move over to the left. Yep. Oh, is that far wow, enough? Wow, he's staying very deep. I guess he wants to stay out of range of the dancer. Yeah, you got to stay well away from the dancer. But this is this is something, right? Because now Lumi's moving backwards, which is yeah, which is better for the Woodies. But yeah, now now Chiagant might get the stop. He has to squeeze up, doesn't he? Just to push there is a. Oh, it's Frenzy. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow, he's really moving back. No, he can't. This is, this is what I mean. This is why I was kind of surprised this didn't happen a couple of turns ago, to be fair. Mm. Mid-half <laughs> half Dakar. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Tom Schneider. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Gonna bits the Fletcher in the way. Oh man, this this dance has been disappointing. Yeah, he's been a bit shit this half. He's I don't like the not standing these guys up and dodging this guy. Yeah, I don't know why he's not these guys. Oh, been dodged. I think he could have just stood up. Honestly. I would have. I would have. I would have just wanted them both up. No reroll. Huge hit here, gets the pow. Huge. Huge, yeah, yeah. I mean, if that's a push, he doesn't get through, does he? But he gets the pow and that's it. I, know, I guess he's got, you got two chances because of the frenzy. But. So, yeah, I wonder if we shall see a leaping ball sack. Uh, I would expect one. That's or a good thing about us, the guard. I guess because it, it'd still be a one day. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's the thing. The perfect Venger bus has the guard there, and then the passenger is the other one. So yeah. So it's just a one -er, Yeah. Yeah. The passenger. If he's lucky, if he's lucky he'll it. I mean, he could. He could. He could put the AG5 in the back. Oh, he's tagged him. He, he could put the AG5 in the back right, and then leap and punch him. Towards his own touchdown zone, mm. but I don't think that's worth it. No, I think you just want to get the. You shouldn't have allowed this dancer to be caged. No, I think you just blitz with this dancer and run him back for a second attempt next turn. Oh, I don't like. It. I don't like clearing it with the Edge Five because then that's three players used, including Raj Five, right? So now even if you pop it. Like I don't think you should try and pop it this turn, but he's, no, he's not. I kind of didn't like making this block just because it took three players. Yeah. That could have come through here to help. And he's still going to be. Some. Oh no, he's alright now, I guess. Yeah, he puts the guard in. Oh, I thought he might go all the way around and then try and 2D the dancer. Oh, well, just has this guy, no problem. And now he's got the Mega Bunker. Okay, that's not that Mega Bunker, is it? But still. Nah, it's not Mega. It's a. Uh... Venger Bus. Could blitz the Garda and then try and just get in the way. But again, see that, that block up there has put four guys on one. Yeah. And 
and he's taken his edge five out, so he can't. Well, he can cage dive, but the cage dive loses a lot of value when your edge five isn't anywhere near to take advantage of it. I think maybe he's. Oh, he can't rely on his one turn, can he? Because he's got like four blood steppers. Mm. So it's looking like overtime. Yeah, he looks oh, like he's kind of happy with overtime. Yeah, which is. Yeah, I think I think this was a bad mistake getting these four on there. If those four had come to here, then they could have come to here, and then maybe you can try and stop him. Or maybe you just have to roll the dice and go for the you know the ball sack, the one D ball sack at some point. Maybe try and take. Well, I mean, he has he has hit the guard a bit, but like maybe he's, you know try and hit the guard more to try. And Something. Like tag is he going or... all the way in? Mm, this is, uh... He's gone as close as he can to the end zone. Well, like the problem. Oh, he's still got his sidestep anyway, so if you, even if he gets powered, he can sidestep backwards. Yeah. Yeah, if he gets pushed, he goes in, and if he gets powered, he goes out. Oh, that was quite a big GFI. Whew. Mm. It's yeah, amazing it's how that one guard is like really gets him legit, hasn't it? And I guess it was the one time that Shogun pushed up that it like Lumi just walked past him, didn't he? Walk through. Yeah. And there you go, he maybe feels, the, feels the three plus in, doesn't re roll. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, should have. Put a bit more pressure on a bit earlier. Yep. If you want to stop him, he did. Yeah, you want to force him in. Well, you want you, you either want to stop him or you want to force him in, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, he just didn't. He didn't like risk it. Like, okay, it means more hits on your armor seven and stuff. But you have to do something <laughs> because otherwise he's turned eight stall. And if you turn eight stall, you're fifty fifty to lose this, aren't you? Because if you lose the toss, whoever wins the toss here wins nine times out of ten. And if you compare if you compare the drives, right? Yeah, they couldn't um, have been more different, could they? Yeah, Lumi was like really aggressive, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe like slightly overly aggressive, and then Shogun was passive and maybe overly passive. Yeah, but that's just from like my perspective. Like, obviously, I appreciate that they're probably both correct. And... No, Sutterfield. No, the seventy-eight was was. Was a uh, lizard men against dark elves and eight man dark elves versus lizard men. This is like f and like t 1300 TV. This is like fully powered, you know, mm. 1800, 1900 TV elf teams. They're, they're probably not even 90% to win, probably 95% to win or something if they win the toss. Yeah, no friends either here, so this one's harder. Mm. What are we on now? Two, four, Eight, nine. Do what it is. Mm. And the uh, the mighty blow tackler is back for the uh, for the high elves and on the LOS. <laughs> Instantly smashed. Oh, sad. Yeah, so it looked like he's set up for the uh, right or the snap. <laughs> they have aviate on Lumi's team. Yeah, I mean the, these catches are been armored armored ten for him more or less, haven't they? Yeah, they've been pretty. They've been pretty sure. And then I think this is all going to come down to the toss. Yeah. Imagine going from his game against Sol, where every time he hit a gutter runner, he cast it to this game, where he's, his catches have been knocked down like. 20 times probably and are totally fine. Does the dancer come back? He does come back. Mm. And the high elves win the toss. So, this is. fucking grim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he hasn't even got 11, so he can't show everyone. Not that I think that's gonna matter, to be honest. Mm. 
Yep, he's got the blitz. He's got perfect defense, maybe. Pitch invasion, maybe. But... It's asking a lot to score elves that can score at any point. Like, it's it's stupid, isn't it? Because they don't even have to go for a two-turn. You know, they don't have no. to stall it he at should, all. No, he shouldn't go for a two-turn, to be honest. But... I mean, it depends, doesn't it? It depends if, like, you know, if he'd set up a rule of five or whatever, you know, like how... Like yeah, how some people, people do. do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we were both thinking the exact same thing there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know, that, then you maybe you do go for the two-turn, but... um. Yeah, like it's 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 the hardest task in Blood Bowl, isn't it, to try and defend against elves that could have the freedom to score any turn they want. It's, it's yeah, insane. like it should it should be an option at the end of this turn, and whether or not he goes for it is another thing. Like, P D, mm. P D D, P D D, and uh, doesn't really do much. No, it might even make him wor defense worse. Because <laughs> okay, he's stopping hits here, but you he's know. Open. Yeah. yeah, he's maybe opening up that side a little bit. Oh, he's letting his dance get hit here. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's it's kind of a big investment, but it's might be worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. You've got to blitz him to stop the uh, to stop the frenzy trap. <laughs> Yeah, hi, wow. Wow, Gary. So he's he's staying pretty much the same aggressiveness on offense as he did on defense, isn't he? Here, basing up like a bit of a maniac. No problem with a frenzy trap. Into a instant mighty blow hit. It's interesting. Yeah, he plays a it. fair bit. He plays a fair bit of high elves, to be fair. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Smash his tackle. I wonder if he plays like this on the ladder, or if this is like, you know, a switching gears thing because he's playing against the woodies. I think it is because he's playing against the woodies. Yeah, this is how he played against the rats too, right? He was just constantly. Because they're both AV7 teams, right? Yeah. So that they they have like similarities. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like they're probably the most similar to each other, both being AV7, AG4, and Ooh. stuff. Stuff. Yeah. Fuwa, how are guys? And again, like, like he just doesn't put pressure on, because like I. I, I don't know, but I, I feel like putting pressure on because he can't score this next... I know, I know this is slightly different from the first half, right? Because if the Elves score, they win, right? Which obviously is a different scenario from if the Elves score, you probably win because you've got Ooh. X amount of turns to drive back. Yeah, yeah, totally different. But, but like, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, like this is this is so tough now for, for Chiagan. <laughs> and he doesn't even need to worry about defending the ball like the ball yeah he's guy. too far back yeah there was no pressure yeah. and now this guy is perfectly placed to score isn't he yep so it does come down to like a 3 plus 2 plus right or something yeah at the moment I mean doesn't have to go for it does he so like he doesn't have to pass it to him and score because it's still like Chigan still has to come and try and force something yeah is he just hoping on the intercept by the looks of it I mean he has got an energy fire yeah, he does. You wouldn't know he's been at the back of, like, he's been completely away from the action all game. Doesn't want to lose him. Doesn't want to lose him, but he hasn't been able to use him, has he? Can he, can he just run round, blitz that guy, hand off to the kicker and then throw a pass? Yep. Oh, okay, oh, okay. hold on. Yep, that's exactly he, he what he's doing. The... That's literally exactly what he's doing. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I thought that was... 
pretty obvious. Yep. Oh, you just did it instantly, didn't you? Yeah, I, that was exactly what I was looking at. Hmm. What's going on here? Just covering for the failure state, isn't it? Oh, for the pass, yeah. yeah. And there you go. GG. Hello, Clive. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good effort. It was a good effort from Chi again that turn, but yeah, there was that weakness, wasn't there? Which you spotted instantly. And, uh, yeah, it did. <laughs> I'm no blood bowl expert, but yeah, that was a couple of two pluses, you know. Wait, elves. Yeah, elves. Elves high going well. High skill teams, you know. Yeah, they are in a way, aren't they? But it's it's funny because like it's cool that they can they've got lots of options, but then also. Sometimes it's not so much about the options, and it's just rolling two pluses, isn't it? <laughs> so they're they're weird, but then I guess you know bash teams are just about rolling pals and cas as I, well. So uh, yeah, who knows? But um, yeah, congratulations, Luminous, commiserations, Chiagant. Thank you very much, Dimmy G, the champ. No problem, Jimmy. Glorious. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.